Jenna or Jenna Cat and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be a part two of my Candyland Veiled for Vanellope. If you want to catch part one where I turn the Frosted Heights into a giant Candyland game, then the link for that will be in the description below. This house gives me major sugar cravings and I love it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I wanted to make Vanellope her very own candy themed house within the premium shop item sweet house where she can go to relax, play her video games, or maybe even stream on her laptop. I know she has her own house in the game, but this sweet house was too delicious to ignore. I had to make my own room for Vanellope. So I knew I wanted to start with the, I think it's a cupcake, I'm not sure, floor and wallpaper. So I threw that in and then added some Wreck-It Ralph themed furniture. And of course, most of it is also pink and started placing all the items in like vague areas of wh where I want them to go. That's typically my process. I either put them all in one pile or I'll place them in vague areas and then once I get a bunch of items out, I'll start messing around and seeing what looks best where. I use the fridges to act as a like dividing wall since there isn't really a dividing wall option in the game yet. Like how Animal Crossing has dividing walls, I decided to just like make my own with some cute little fridges. I added one more later when I ran out of a pink pink fridges, so I needed to get another one. I even just rewatched Jack at Ralph, which I hadn't seen in years, and that movie is so freaking adorable. The Sugar Rush game, all of the candy hidden gems are incredible. The Laffy Taffies, I completely forgot about those guys and was dying and remember how much I loved them the first time I saw that movie and was kind of glad that I forgot about them so it was like a surprise all over again. I didn't really have a door that I thought matched this vibe so I went with the Wally one just because it's kind of futuristic technological game-esque but otherwise like I probably would have wanted something pink but I didn't have any pink door options. And of course, needed to add several of the candy corn lights, which I use a lot of uh, outside the house as well. And the pink cherry blossom trees, those fit perfectly in here because of the pink, even though it's technically not related to Vanellope at all. I just wanted to fill this room with so many pink things. And the doors, I really don't need to be actually functional because I'm not going to decorate any of the other rooms in here, at least not for now. And then I couldn't decide where I wanted Vanellope's car to go. I tried it in several different places, but it's a pretty big item, so it didn't really fit anywhere. Then I thought maybe I'd make a little arcade here, but I still really wanted to use the car, so I changed my mind. I also didn't want anything blocking the pink and white walls because I think they're really cute, and so I wanted a shorter item so it wouldn't block the walls themselves. That rug is, I'm pretty sure, from the Monster Ink collection, but it fits the color aesthetic pretty well, so I went with that and then added the air hockey table. I think that's such a cute item. And then messed around with the indoor waterfall for a little bit and tried to use that as the divider wall, and I do like it there, but I ended up liking the pink and white wall better.
And then now here, I'm trying to make a, maybe a different wall to sort of section off her streaming area. And I think it looks super weird like that. So I move them back against the wall itself. I was just trying some different things, you know, trying to be creative. Didn't like what I came up with, so went in a different direction. So of course, just like in part one of this video, I made a bunch of candy and dropped it everywhere because you know Penelope's gonna be eating candy, dropping candy, leaving candy, literally anywhere. So that's why we just have candy pieces all over this room and, and all over the Frosted Heights biome. And here we go. Let's enter into our delicious sweet house. So right here, we've got Vanellope's little arcade with uh, two games of Sugar Rush. You could do multiplayer or single player. And you've got her car. And over here, you've got your nice little lounge area to relax and chill, warm by the fire since we are in the Frosted Heights. Then we go over here. This is Vanellope's bedroom slash streaming area. It's nice and separate from the other areas of the room, so she can, you know, have a little area to escape from everything else. And this is her computer where she can stream or just play some video games. Here's where she can get more sugary snacks or drinks. In her house, yes, she has like a bar in her house, that's pretty cool. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more Dreamlight Valley content, give my channel a subscribe. Check out part one of this video down in the link below. So until the next video, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.